As you'll know, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So it makes sense that when we're looking for reasons for the conclusions we've made, we look back and we draw a straight line from our conclusions to our original reasoning. This happens when we look at someone successful, for example. We connect all the stories we've either seen or heard of when they were successful, and we draw a straight line from through all of those towards the conclusion that they've been successful all the way. And for me, it's easier to compare it for studying for these exams. I still have one left to go and a few assignments to catch up on. But with studying, now that I'm at the end of the course and I see the conclusions we've come to, I can draw straight lines from those conclusions to the premises we started off with. And now that I'm at the end, it seems like it makes sense to do that. But when I was going through the course and learning, the path was anything but straight. As I'm drawing towards the end of the scholastic year, I was looking back and I've realized something through these videos. I've actually realized it in most aspects, if, if not all aspects of my life. But it's easiest to show you through these videos. I've realized that with themes like poverty and freedom, I've made a few videos that have touched on them in various ways through the past year. And now looking back, it might seem as though there's a development from one video to the next, as though there's progress in a single direction. But that's what it looks like now that these are all in the past. But personally, as I was going through this year and making these videos, it was anything but a straight line. Most of these videos came from a place where I was just living life and then, as life has a habit of doing, just hitting me in the face, where I was faced with walls or questions where I expected to find a straight path. And these things might look like they're linear when we forget about the obstacles we've overcome or we don't know about the obstacles which others have faced. I've come to accept that in things like these and in life in general, let's say, I don't go along a linear path, but I end up in more of a spiral, moving in a direction, but having to go over the same things or, or similar things over and over again, just a little bit deeper each time, making similar mistakes and learning similar lessons, but hopefully going a bit deeper each time. Now, I'm sorry that the videos these past two weeks have been a little bit shorter and of a little bit lower quality, but with exams and assignments and life going on, I was in a bit of an existential juggling act. and <laughs> I'm not very good at juggling, but I guess that's just part of the spiral of my life. I just hope that with every exam period, both uni exams and even life exams, I'm able to go just a little bit deeper and get a little bit better in this spiral of life. And before I go, as sad and as tiring as it is, I just want to remind you that we're on day 92 now of the war in Ukraine. That's 13 weeks and a day, or uh, three months, yeah, three months and a day. That's a really long time to be at war, at least for me who who, who doesn't know war, but, but it's just so sad. Anyway, I'll catch you next week. Bye.